Yo, what's going on, pimps, hoes, and party pros? Jason Capital here with another Ask Jason. Just got back from the gym, kicked some ass, had a good protein shake, and now I'm ready to film some form of awesomeness for you. So, today's question comes from a young man named Jason. It's off to a good start. He says, yo, Jason, thanks for all the great and inspiring letters. My awesomeness increases every day. I listen to your YouTube lecture about betting on yourself every morning. Well, I get ready. Good shit, man. Now, it's become more and more the man that I was meant to be. I notice a pattern with women. I bring value and adventure to their lives. They are happy. Then they go batshit insane and clingy. I bail. They are sad and really insane. And that's the end. I love women. I do not wish to hurt them, nor do I wish to marry anybody. I treat them all with respect, and I try and screen out the fragile and the crazy, but they still end up hurt. How do you live your life so fully without hurting a ton of good people? Thanks for your time, man. Jason. All right, dude. <clears throat> so, I didn't think of any answers before your question. I was just like, let me just step into this and just go boom and see what the fuck wants to come out, because I like the Q&A style. So, Dude, the first thing that comes to mind, there's one thing that comes to my mind immediately when I, I read this, okay? And we're gonna get to that in a second because that's like the big picture. That's like the big thing, okay? So let's talk about like some strategies, like techniques or stuff like that to kind of like prevent this stuff, at least from happening from later, okay? This is like the stuff that can work. Some, you know, usually it will work. Sometimes it won't. Um, the big thing we're gonna talk about in a second is like the big one, so we'll get to that. But in general, the first couple conversations you have with a girl, if you know like you don't want relationships long term. You just want to have fun and not be working towards any outcomes, right? But just in the moment, I'm having fun when I'm with you, it's great. And when I'm not with you, I'm, I'm present wherever I am. Like, I don't want to come up with any labels or I don't want to work towards some relationship. Like, I just want to have fun with you. I just want to have good sex. I want to fuck each other. You know, we'll just chill, we'll get some food. Like, I want to keep it real chill, right? Real casual. So, the first couple conversations, just state that, right? Just bring up relationships in the conversation and then state your views on relationships. And then, you know, from that point on, she can't say like she didn't know that this is what you want. So if I'm talking to a girl and we're, you know, we're talking about like, oh my God, I love scarves. Like, like scarves are just a great fashion tool. I feel like not enough people wear scarves. Like you can really, you can really like take a bad outfit and really make scarves awesome. And she's like, oh my God, scarves too. I'm like, what about relationships? What do you think about relationships, right? And we start talking about relationships, whatever. It's a funny conversation, scarves and relationships. But I can say, you know what, I think that most people really in relationships, it's like they, they get into these relationships out of like neediness and loneliness and they don't really want to be with that person. They just, they don't want to be alone. And that's a terrible reason to get in a relationship. Like I think it's so much better when two people who are totally happy on their own can just meet and not like have to be working towards some relationship and not be dependent on each other or anything like that. But they can just have fun when they're with each other, and fuck the shit out of each other and exchange orgasms and that's great. And then they go on with their lives doing whatever else they do for a couple of days and they see each other again and they fuck the shit out of each other again and they go back to their lives. And it's like, it's, it's, it's great when people can just be casual and relaxed about that stuff. You know what I mean? And she goes, uh huh. I, I know what you mean. Because you say it with certainty and you say it confidently and you, you're congruent with it. And she's like, yeah, that sounds awesome because you know how to describe it well. And then later on, that's usually what ends up happening. That's usually okay with it because you set that expectation from the beginning, okay? If you set an expectation at the beginning that you are a relationship guy, you're like really building a deep connection with her or something like that, like a real deep connection, you're setting the wrong expectation, you're sending the wrong signals. Because when you do that, you're, like, you're making her think that you're the kind of guy who's you know, boyfriend type or husband material or whatever it is. And if that's not what you want, you need to make sure you're not sending those signals. Or at the very least, you need to make sure that you are verbalizing and you are telling her, hey, I'm not boyfriend material. I like the fuck buddy situation. I think it's really good. That's what I think is better. That's who I am. That's what I'm going to do. If that's cool with you, awesome. Here's my dick. Jump on it. If not, then you know what? I'm sure there's a lot of guys um, you know, at Pottery Barn that you could go talk to who will probably do exactly what you're looking for. Like, it's okay with me. But you need to verbalize that either way. Okay? So... That's one thing you can do. There's an old you know, pickup artist line back in the day, which was like when you take a girl home before you sleep with her, like before you do it, just be like, you know, we, we can't do this. And she's like, why? And you're like, you're the, you're the what are we girl. You know, you're just, you're the what are we girl. Like, I, we can't do this. And she's like, what do you mean the what are we girl? I'm like, you're the what are we girl. Like, we can't do this. Like, I, I can't do that to you. And she goes, what is the what are we girl? And you said, well, you're the what are we girl. Like, we're going to wake up tomorrow morning, okay? And you're going to, you know, talk for a while about how amazing last night was. And then you're going to say, so, like, what are we? Now, like, are we like official? 
put this on Facebook? Should I call my mom? Do you want to call my mom? Like, what do you think we should do? What are we? And you're that girl, and I'm not doing that because that's not. Like, I'm just not at that point in my life. Like right now, I'm just having fun, and I'm just I'm not there yet. You know. And then of course, no girls gonna be like, okay, you're right. We can't do this. I am the what are we girl. She's gonna fight that. She's gonna be like, no, I'm not the what are we girl. Blah 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 blah. And then again, you've set the correct expectation of I'm not boyfriend material. We're just keeping it casual, fun, light. Okay. So that's number one. That's really important too. But Jason, I really like your name. I think you smell really good. Okay, I think you take good care of yourself. I respect that. I respect you. So I want to like, help you further here, okay? And if this is really something where you are continuing to attract women like this in your life who beneath the surface are, as you say, batshit crazy and insane and clingy, okay, then that's a sign of something greater, okay? Because like attracts like, okay? Awesome attracts awesome. So if you are attracting insane, then there is something you need to look inside yourself and see what signal it is you're giving off that is attracting insane girls or clingy girls or needy girls. Okay, a lot of guys have come to me, not saying all of them, but a good percentage of them when they first come to me are very needy motherfuckers. They don't know it, but they're very needy. They've just been trained that way. It's not their fault. Okay, they're just been trained that way. And after about 30, 60, 90 days, my newsletters and my products will get in their fucking face and like really lifting them up so they become self-sufficient and self-possessed and self-dependent, self-actualized and whatnot. They grow and they evolve and then their cup is full and then they don't give off the needy vibes anymore. But a lot of them do when they first come to me. We need to like shift that. Okay, it's possible that's where you are. I don't know. I'm just saying that if you continue to attract women like this into your life, you need to look at yourself in the mirror and you need to see what the fuck kind of vibe you're giving off to. Okay? So I guess that'll do it. Hopefully that helps, man. Uh, hit me up, I guess, privately or comments. I don't know. Okay, just hit me up, let me know that it works for you, let me know what's going on. Keep me posted on this because, um, you know, when I was younger, especially in college, I certainly attracted my fair share of needy, crazy girls. And it was because while on the outside I was spitting all game and I'm, you know, like fucking awesome at this shit, inside I was still needy. So even though I could cover it up with this band aid of game, this little like thin veil of game, which, which got me the, the girls I wanted, it had mainly attracted, you know, even though they're really attractive, but the needier, more insecure ones because that's how I was on the inside. It took a lot of work for me to overcome that shit and really become centered you know, in myself and full on my own. And now I don't attract those kinds of girls. I repel them. They're afraid of me. Okay? They fucking meet me. Needy and insecure girls are fucking afraid of me. I want that for you too because when those girls are afraid of you and you're pushing those ones away, that means you're attracting the badass ones yourself. Alright, so Jason Capital, out of here.